y'all, it's me, your girl, Blush Trust, coming back to you with another video where here on this channel, we like to go and take our peace and give God the pieces. So if this is your first time clicking on the channel and you have never seen this face before, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Martina, AKA Blessed Trust. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And for those of you that already are a part of the Blessed family, welcome back. So if you haven't heard the amazing news, my husband and I, we have built a semi-custom home. Yes, to God be all of the glory. And we are super excited. So excited that we are continuing to document the journey of turning this house into a home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're into, please be sure that you subscribe and hit the like button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload. So you know here on this channel, I am all about saving, whether it is saving you money or saving you time, saving you frustration. In fact, if you happen to miss my last video where I showed you an organizational hack for your kitchen, I'll leave a link to that video right here. But let's talk about today's video where we are going to talk about how the Geek Squad of Best Buy saved Tom and I so much money. Hey, are, are you Geek Squad? squad? Yes, ma'am, we sure are. How are you doing? Good. What's your name? I'm Aaron. And I'm Jacob. Jacob. Hey! So Aaron and Jacob were here pretty much to get us set up. We had purchased four TVs from Best Buy. We purchased a 65 inch for our family room and then a 55 inch for our loft and main bedroom. And then we also purchased a 45 inch for our guest bedroom. So of course the beauty of the in-wall mounting is that you want to hide your cords. But in order to do that, you're going to have to have a power kit. Power kits at Best Buy run you about $100 and each. Under, you're cleaning up. You got it. Oh, no. I got it. Yes, you got it. Look, I found it. Mm-hmm. Good job cleaning up. Okay. Um, so I was just saying, uh, with height, you definitely don't want to go too high. Any, you're, so if you go too high to the ceiling, you're going to be staring up, you're going to be craning your neck. Uh, that's going to get tiring really fast. Uh, so you definitely want to get a little bit lower. TV stands are getting lower these days. So okay. uh, kind of right centered on the wall. It's perfect. Yeah. It's just high enough for the kids to stay away from it, but not enough where you're going to turn your neck staring up at it the whole time. That's good. So, yeah, it's nice. Fire truck. Whoa. Is there a fire? Oh, you're going to put it out? Okay, eating. <laughs> so I'm going back and forth between watching the kids and trying to get the footage. <laughs> but now that they're eating, it should be pretty fun and I should be able to catch some really good stuff. like a perfect did you already draw you drew that beforehand so we traced it out oh and then once we got whole, like once we got the actual like hole traced out then you just follow the lines and cut it okay there you go and then we'll do the top hole and then run this cord down from the top okay and connect it to this little piece down here and then this cord is what powers the entire uh, and that's what goes behind the wall mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yep, that's basically just an extension cord through the wall. Okay. Um, that's completely in wall rated. Okay. A lot cheaper than an electrician. And yes. It's just the exact same thing.
nice. It's just hollow back here because it's an interior wall. Uh-huh. So is it going to be harder with that exterior wall? Uh, we might run, might run into some insulation, but it shouldn't be too hard. Okay. And everything we're watching, is it streaming? Do we have a cable company in plan? Do you know? Um, it's a, no, we usually do streaming. Streaming, okay. Yeah. So just wondering, this is at this moment is where you would want to run cables through the wall, like the oh. HDMI's and things like that. Because uh, these kits, aside from being power, also have a channel for cables. Got you. But everything, everything streaming is just going to be power, so um, that's something that can always be done after the fact. Okay. Or do decide you want a DVD player or an Xbox or something. Okay. Uh, that can be ran through the wall. Okay. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, since we're just doing that, make sure you do the order of operations right on the, the wall plate. Mm -hmm. And that's how the magic happens. Yes. Good job. Yes, good job. That's the top of the TV along that door frame. Oh, I like uh, that. So look pretty seamless. Yeah, it's, the seamless look. Obviously, it's a little bit higher, but it's in bed, and this is a taller bed, so most of the time you're going to be watching looking up anyways. Yep. Um, so that that would be ideal for me. Okay, I like it. Perfect. Uh, Look at how clean that looks. I'm speechless. So, live podcasting and things like that roughly for the last two and a half years. Oh, wow. Uh, so, not like a long time. <laughs> not like a long time, but I've had a, I've had a decent time. With this guy, this is that full motion uh, on a single arm. Uh, so you can kind of place it wherever you'd like. If you want it farther this way to center on the bed or if you want it centered on the wall, I think centered on the wall is going to look a little bit better. Mm -hmm, I you agree. Can see, you can kind of move it around wherever you want. Uh, leveling can be adjusted. Like right now, since I'm moving it around, it can just be tilted left and right. Oh, wow. Um, so don't worry about what it looks like in this moment. Okay. If I'm moving around, I still got to cut my holes for the rest. But it can be adjusted pretty okay. much any way you want it. Okay. Nice and neat this guy. Yeah, it does. That was a good idea. Yeah, yeah that's very seamless. I love it. Yeah. And now what did you, so the cord is back there and it's just going in this one? Yep, this will just be like some of the other kits where they have a hole here, I'm gonna put a hole here, and then oh. it basically an extension goes through the wall, uh, and this is gonna be a plug that goes to this plug. Nice. Kind of a piggyback. Nice. It'll have no wires hanging down, it'll be just the TV, but it'll be fully covered. Okay. What's those snaps? <laughs> so these little straps, they just go to the mount. They're, okay. They're attached to the arms on the back. It's attached to the back of the TV. Okay. And then you put that on the mount on the wall, like the mount the bracket. And then these little straps, you just pull these two, and it releases the latches on the bottom of the arms. Okay. And that's how you get the TV actually off. The Got you. Now I have a question. I remember in our previous home, the um, former owners, they're the ones who had all this work done. And I was like, wow, I didn't know Geek Squad did that. Mm -hmm. And so, but the only thing that I remember is that, and it could have been the TV mount that they had, but it would, it would be hard to put my fire stick behind. So that's- Am I gonna have yeah. that issue again or? Maybe. Uh, so what I did this time was I put spacers on the TV. So that way it, it's not much. It only brings it up maybe about another half inch. Okay. Thing but it's just enough for you to be able to slide your hand back here and okay. mess around with the input. So you might struggle with that a little bit because this is probably that same type of mount. Okay. It's fixed position. It doesn't have any tilt left or right or up or down. It's just fixed to the wall. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure I get the well, other the types of mounts. Well, the interesting thing about this, like, particular, like the TV itself, not the mount, is that all the inputs face out. Oh, good. So you can look directly at them and see them right It's much you. flatter mm -hmm. than that one that I was trying to get um, the fire stick in. But okay. And in addition to like that. And it's newer. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's full motion, honest, or not full motion. Uh, fixed position mounts aren't bad. They work okay. Great. They, in, in in my personal opinion, I think they help the TV look really flush against the wall. Okay. Look really nice and neat. Okay. Um, 
I was truly like a kid in a candy store. I mean, these guys were so knowledgeable and they taught me so much. And I am in no way <laughs> a person that is a tech person or a tech guru. But one thing that I did learn, which many of you probably already knew, but I did not know that the reason why I needed a fire stick for my former televisions were because they weren't smart televisions. So because we had those issues with, you know, just trying to put a fire stick in back of those televisions before, we wouldn't have those issues with this one because these are smart televisions. So they were just so helpful, so useful. They didn't make me feel like, you know, I'm bothered, I was bothering them, or even with me having a camera out, or just even with all of my questions, they were just so kind and so patient. And I really appreciated that. So this wall is my bedroom wall and my bedroom wall happens to be an exterior wall. So this was probably the most challenging wall for them because it did have the insulation. Nice. So one thing I will say is make sure that if you're not going to go with Geek Squad that you do hire someone that is licensed and insured. You just don't want anyone cutting holes in your walls. People uh, either work around it. Just work around it. It'll be hidden or they take it out, put stuff okay. in and put it back in. All right. Um, especially with the mount, that's usually the easiest one. You can kind of just work around. Yep. With the in-wall kits, it's a little trickier because you, you, it's a face plate that kind of, it's the finishing touch. Okay. So if a ship lap or anything sits, you know, half an inch away from the wall, that might be a little recess. Okay. Which might look nice if yeah. it's done well. Um, so no matter what, okay. you can still do that kind of custom work afterwards. Okay. Um, okay. Just kind of depends. That was good to hear because I would like to add a fireplace to this wall area in our sitting room and also kind of add, I guess, a decorative mantle to this wall so it looks like the fireplace and the TV are actually like recessed in that wall. All right, this is the grand finale. Yes. To see the, the bedroom, can I see that? That's nice, so if we're in the bed. Okay. Nice, and this is if we're sitting in here. Yes. That is nice. That was the perfect place for it. Yep. That really was. And it's super easy to move around. I mean, it's it's not coming off the wall, it's fully attached. So mm -hmm. You can play around with it, move it around. Oh, you're fine. Oh, okay. Nice, look how neat that mm -hmm. is. And then if you ever want to run any additional cables through the wall, there's always this spot right here on the Let wall see. power kit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just that's in case you ever for. need to get anything else, additional connected, like okay. a Blu-ray player or a game console, anything to that effect. Okay. okay. So full disclosure, my builder, in order to do what you guys basically just did, it was going to be four, let's just say 400. I want to say 425, but we're just going to say 400 yeah. per installation we did so per them. room so we did three of them so that would have been for me twelve hundred dollars easily mm -hmm. so Absolutely. through us uh you got the total tech support plan mm -hmm. uh, which is a big old bundle it covers a lot yeah uh, but just on a sheer cost standpoint of getting something installed uh, it's a 200 dollar program it's a yearly program yep. for that whole year you buy something new we'll install it for free mm -hmm. uh core products that's tv a sound bar computer i mean anything in between uh, the in-wall kits, the same kind of thing. Um, without that, uh, without the total tech plan, it would cost you, say, 250 for the TV mounting, and then another 150 or so for this here. So it's kind of the same cost as the and builder without that total tech plan. Um, but that total tech plan with us. Well, not it's really. Fun. It's still saving because the builder wasn't going to mount it. That's true. Okay. Yeah. So, wow. that was <laughs> he was that. just doing the pre wiring. So that's ah. just for the in wall power. Yes. That's oh, just so that's for the in story. That is yeah. a whole different story. Yeah. You, yeah. you saved yourself 
at minimum eight hundred dollars. I mean, at minimum. Yeah. Um, and that total tech plan comes with protection. This TV now has a protection plan for two years. Yes. On it. Uh, Thanks, Jacob. Thanks, Aaron. Absolutely. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye.